As the Republican National Committee gears up for the party's first presidential debate in Milwaukee, August 23rd, it's also detailing which GOP candidates can participate. Political reporter Daryl Fair has you covered on the requirements to be invited to the debate floor. Thank you, Brandon and Amber. GOP candidates are struggling to meet the threshold of new requirements announced by the Republican National Committee ahead of its first presidential debate taking place next month. The committee is requiring all candidates secure 40,000 unique donors. 200 of those donors must be from 20 different states or territories. The provisions were intended to create a level of playing field. However, they had little effect on candidates willing to pay large sums of money to attract donors. We ought to have sensible limits on uh, what is spent in presidential campaigns so that voters can hear about issues rather than hear so much about how much money this candidate raised or how much candidate uh, money this candidate raised. The committee doubled down earlier today, clarifying that candidates would also need to receive 1% of votes in two national polls and two early state polls from separate states to qualify. While no candidate has met qualifications to participate in the debate yet, leading GOP candidates like Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Mike Pence are expected to hit that mark. All right, Dariel, thank you.